Hello folks and welcome back to Robocop Rogue City. Last time we went into the very poor arcade and found out where, not necessarily where Soot is, but where apparently a informant, a police informant was taken uh, by Soot's people. So that's our next stop is the Ghost House, which is a burned building, burned out building in the corner, yeah, in a, in, a, in, a, in a narratively important location according to the map. Um... Anything else I'm looking for around here? Laundromats. Let's speed up. Let's speed up our little jog. I've almost got my next skill point as well. Which is going to go into what? More notes. More notes. More deduction. We'll max out deduction before doing anything else, I think. As much experience as possible. As much experience as possible. We'll max out that as much as we can. Can I go that? Yeah, you can go out that side. Okay, cool. Have oh, I been over here? I think I've been over here. I just chose not to go in that. I oh, didn't see this building before. Have I been down here? I'm wondering. Hmm. Don't know. Anyway, into the ghost house. See if you can find soot. A little bit, for, a little bit late for Halloween, but a ghost house it is. We immediate gun out or not immediate gun out? Okay. Find the police informant. Scanning for evidence. You need to be taught some manners. I disapprove of the fact that every other gun seems to be stronger than the Auto 9. That's silly. Proper weapon. Right, let's try to do this by the book, shall we? The slowdown is really, really fast. I won't die. If I can, if I can pick that up, I'll be very happy. Let's give him a warm... um, I'll, take, I'll take the AK for the time being. Recovery charge. Still point available. Nice. Can I pick up the gun? Yes, I can. This is an appropriate weapon. This is something I should be trading up for. Grab TV, grab that, grab that, grab that. Can I even can I swap out? I can swap out my machine gun. Christ knows where I'm keeping it, but I can swap it out. 
Get up there. Come on, anything else I'm going to pick up? No. One more recovery charges, please. More recovery charges, please. Bit muted, isn't it? Skill point will be more, more deduction. pull open the safe. I want a note. Don't have a note. Does anyone know what the code for that safe is? I don't have to come back for that. Jump down the elevator shaft. Can I avoid doing that? Can I get a note for that thing first? Robocop doesn't take full damage. I figured that out. I figured that one out a while ago. Unfortunately, I don't think I've got a note for this. This is something you need engineering six. How the... I guess it's technically possible that if you put everything into engineering so far, you would have engineering six by now. It just feels like, really? Unless I can come back in here afterwards. Take ID card, hello. No, it's evident. Can we find... any kind of evidence of... any evidence at all of a safe code. There's just chairs. There's your pizza box. Nuke. We came up here, right? So we came up here checking everything. We can get a little, a little Robocop vision to have a look at. You know, opening doors. Right. Right, fine. We'll go jump down the shaft. A little bit of missed experience, I think. But other than that, we can deal with it. Which way we're going to be facing? I'm going to be facing backwards. Oh, so we've been facing left. I can't heal off that, can I? Nope. Vitality level 2 for that. Healing, there's a heal kit over there. I want that. 
Oh, reaching that. Find the police informant, okay. Grab everything we can get our hands on. Machine gun? Please. Crazy pictures. Micro SMGs. We're gonna go in there in a bit. I'm just looking around, seeing if there's anything else we need to pick up here. Ah, Skyrim door. Okay, that's the Skyrim door. Um, we'll breach with the Auto 9. A bit unwieldy to breach with that thing, I think. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh, man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? Pickles! Hey, Pickles. Yeah, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come from... Oh, was, was, was your freedom not, uh... <laughs> it is your civic duty to help. It is a privilege and a merit for civilians That's to not true at all. <laughs> in ...capturing wanted fugitives. Well said. Uh, what can I say? I'm a sucker when it comes to helping the cops. So... It seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis. Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old no OCV container. Interesting. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know. But it turned out to be groceries. So they left me. Any of that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So I'm... you are an opportunist. Hmm. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say a good business is where you find it. That line turns up a lot in Robocop. <laughs> uh, we've got it. We got auto nine circuit boards and chips, didn't we? Oh, there's another violation here. Keep your beat in check. Look for signs of law breaking, such as disorderly conduct. Okay, there's one. There's one more violation just to find in here. Not sure where it is. We gotta go find it. We're missing a violation somewhere. Our instincts know. We know there's a violation somewhere out here. Somewhere a crime is being committed. I'm just gonna leave pickles. I mean, I'm gonna be hurrying up, right? Uh, nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Briggs? How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't even ask One the question. you should know about me. I love cops. You know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas.
but so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. He always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. Uh. I'll just meet there later. Mainly because I don't want to. If I don't want to abandon my. I have feet. more urgent matters on hand. Meet me later at Briggs Place. Yeah, you gotta save the city. That's fine by me. See you later. Must find the last violation. So Briggs's apartment is there. Okay, let's find the last violation. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a car stop, misdemeanor somewhere. We've cleared this out. We've, I'm sure we've cleared up there. We're gonna be king down from there. Um, where is this violation gonna be? Because they're giving this in the, it's on the same place. It might be okay? Question mark. We go to Briggs' apartment. We'll do Briggs' apartment, maybe. Then off camera, I'll look for the uh, for the violations of not running around and wasting your time. Oh, we went in there. That was something else. That was part of another thing. Well, that was stealing the car, wasn't it? That was car theft. Uh, video rentals? Are you something I need to find? Stop shaking in your boots. Look, Robocop is here. We're safe. Everything okay? Everything okay. Okay. Angelina Johansson is T. Roxy. As it is a crime to rent a film for adults for a person who's under 18. Lorem Ibsen, said Emmett. <laughs> Lorem Ibsen, said Emmett. Death awaits. Lorem Ibsen, said Emmett. A lot of Lorem Ibsen turning up over there. Okay. Cinema, we walked past the cinema. Definitely, so let's, let's, let's nip down here. And up there. Oh, let's go. Let's do Briggs' flat. We'll do Briggs' flat. Oh, hello. Go and watch. Yoink. So we are. need another 6,000 experience. At which point we can, we're free to start putting points into all this stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, how do I get up there? Is Robocop does not man. Over here. Do, does not do climbing. Let's get this over with. Bunch of evidence. I'll take that. Thank you very much. I'll take that for a dollar. Um, I'm assuming that's stuff that might turn up on the enhanced map. Who knows? 
Right. Let's go in here and return the watch. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people. And I'm the type of person that doesn't like... Bang stash discovered. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Excuse me, I'll be back in a second. Like steal a watch. Bang stash. Nice little bit of a... Yeah, because see, getting that enhanced map, if that gives access to a bunch of stuff like that, it'll pay for itself very quickly. Hey, buddy. Uh, this floor? Uh, it looks like it's the floor above. Floor above, really? This is an American thing, like, because here at least the, your, your flats are numbered by floor, so floor 21 would be on, you know, on the second floor. This is it. Deep breath. Anything down here? No. You first. Come on, pickles. Jesus, Robocop. Relax, okay? Robocop? Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Uh, funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Can you look on the Any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. What you know about the last case? I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. The morgue? Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. Sort of the earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you yeah, tell him to light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. 
He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. Michael Briggs. Detroit Against Addiction Program agreement from agreement form from Joshua Pickles Green, age 34. Abusive Services Nuke. Joshua has made some wrong decisions in his life and has been living with the consequences ever since, but he's a man of great spirit with his remarkable people skills. I am convinced that he really wants to make a difference, but in order to do so, he needs professional help and someone to believe in him. The DAA, the Detroit Against Addiction, is a voluntary program, therefore we need a participant's signature in order to enroll them in our center. Why do they have this, I wonder? I've seen a lot of fans have little streamers. Why? Is that just because it's fun to look at? That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. Maybe. This is the 80s. Pithy one-liners are everything. Pithy one-liners is what we're all about. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it, like, time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. I think we walked past him. Is your air freshener secretly we walked past them before, I think. Maybe these guys saw him. Oh hell. What the hell happened? Good evening, citizens. I need Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. <laughs> Your <laughs> We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. Killers. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Oh, okay, right, fine. Let's do this then, go on. Man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. Huh. Jaywalking is such a I weird crime. An investigation. Quote unquote crime, jaywalking, for God's sake. Learn how to cross the street, people, come on. Like, it, it took me a long time to believe that jaywalking is actually an offense in the US. Like, how is that even a crime? Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? You should be somewhere around. Oil? Shoe print, size 7. Oh, they're going everywhere. That's okay. gotta be his. Over there, over there. Scan all the things. Multiple shoe prints. Check everything out. Check out here. No clues or traces. Check out over here. The chalk. They threw out the chalk here. Must have found something more interesting. Okay, let's quickly just check everything else for first. Let's check out that. Thank you, bike outside. No 
of signs. Locked no, shut. It is locked. But it did not go inside. Can that one? So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like new. <laughs> Jesus, that was loud. What the fuck? That was close. We better hurry. Right, we're moving. Oh, they found a gun. Do it! Come on, and him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo, Daniel. Oh no, it's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! Uh oh. What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone's got to drop on him. Do I give people warnings? But that's not going to happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Can I secure the weapon? Friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? My father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead, covered in vomit and instead of writing him off your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do that strength don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now mom see you already know what to do you can start by giving her this She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. <laughs> I'm not going to make a decision. That's I don't get to be asshole Robocop. Like, no, you're going to prison. The gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. So say no. <laughs> Unlicensed use of a firearm. Hey, I'm partner. taking What's you out. On the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. You can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. Drive to the old slaughterhouse. Oh, okay, we're leaving the area. Yeah, in which case, you definitely need to go find yourself the last violation before I do that. I won't. Really? I can't squeeze between two. Okay, god damn it, Robocop. Alright. Let's go back into the road. Let's go back out to the road. Why? Okay, okay, folks, I'll catch you all next time. I'm just gonna find out what this last violation is. I'll patrol the city. Do the beat. Find out what the last patrol what the last violation is, and I'll go and go back to the station, I guess. To drive to the old slaughterhouse. Anyway, see you next time, folks. Bye bye.